everyone, welcome back to Rolling Solo. My name is Adam Smith, and in this unboxing video, we're gonna be checking out Night of the Living Dead. This comes from Cool Mini or Not. It is a Zombicide game, as it mentions right on the front of the box. And the interesting thing to note about this entry versus any of the prior entries in the series is this really is the core experience of the game, and that's pretty much it. There was one other box that came along with the Kickstarter, but surprisingly, it wasn't absolutely massive. In other words, if you didn't get the exclusives, you're not missing out on major content for the game. And if you do, you're just getting some additional pieces to add into your game. We'll go over all of this in the unboxing, but really I wanted to mention this from the standpoint of there hasn't been a Zombicide entry yet that is this compact in terms of size. Many of them require pretty much, if not one cube worth of space in a calyx shelf, sometimes even two, just to house a single entry from the series if you have everything from the Kickstarter it can get really unruly and also the setup time can increase quite a bit whereas something like this could be your into Zombicide or your maybe one and only entry in the series that really allows you to get the game to the table in a solo fashion quickly have a lot of fun and get it back in the box and on the shelf without taking up so much space. So that, coupled with the new mechanisms that have been built inside of this Zombicide entry to make them specific to obviously the movie that the game is based on, it really, really attracted me to this one because it looks like they're doing something different here and something that really will tie in nicely with the scenarios inside of the scenario book. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out all the components in this base game. We'll also check out the exclusives for this particular one called Dead of Night that I just showed you on screen. And then we're gonna actually dive into a setup and a playthrough. This is the latest disclosure in a report from National Civil Defense Headquarters in Washington. It has been established that persons who have recently died have been returning to life and committing acts of murder. A widespread investigation of reports from funeral homes, morgues, and hospitals has concluded that the unburied dead are coming back to life and seeking human victims. The Survival Command Center at the Pentagon has disclosed that a ghoul can be killed by a shot in the head or a heavy blow to the skull. Kill the brain and you kill the ghoul. What if you were the heroes of Night of the Living Dead, the famous zombie movie by George A. Romero? Take on the leading roles as survivors fighting together against ghouls controlled by the game itself. Using simple and intuitive rules, swap your survivor's identity between Romero mode, recreating the movie's atmosphere, and zombicide mode, going all out against your living dead foes. You're going to find weapons, eliminate ghouls, and upgrade your survivor's skills along the way, but be careful as the more ghouls you kill the more of them will show up will you survive the night experience the night of the living dead world in over 10 unique scenes relive the movie and more as you explore the extended storyline the fate of the survivors now lie in your hands First thing you're going to find when you open up the box, of course, is the rule book. And this rule book is actually quite thick. But like many Zombicide games, most of you have played them. Most of the rules you'll be accustomed to right away. Of course, you got the breakdown. You have to remember as well, there's scenarios all at the back of this rule book too. Uh, so that's going to take up a decent portion of this book. You also have all talk about Night of the Living Dead up here, as well as all the different tokens and everything else you expect to find inside the game, which we will see. The setup here runs about 1 to 11 steps across the board to get Get you going and then you're going to jump into the game overview the basics of how to play line of sight all that kind of stuff movement everything else is going to be detailed here again the artwork in terms of its correlation to the actual movie itself is awesome and is definitely going to make this experience i think a little bit more immersive than the prior entries in the series that don't have anything it can tie to directly so i think it just draws you in a little bit more and makes the action a little bit more exciting to be a part of so of course, once you get through all of the major rules of this rule book, you will find near the tail end of this book, the sections specific to the scenes. You also have additional game modes mentioned here. So you have your ultra red mode mentioned, tuning the difficulty. If you're finding it too easy, you can kind of tune that to your best needs. And then you dive into the scenes. And I think it's worth actually showing you guys what some of these scenes look like. So you can see the layouts. So here we have a very simplistic one. And this is again, where I go back earlier and talked about 
the old Zombicide, which had, you know, multiple buildings you could be jumping between and hiding in and moving through and searching. Here, it's more so, at least in the first entry for the scenarios, you're stuck in a house and you're going to be trying to keep everybody out and board everything up. And, and then from there, it starts to open up quite a bit. There's a lot more going into it in each of these scenarios. Here, you're looking for a key and then you can see these maps starting to really branch out and be very interesting layouts uh, while still maintaining the outside spaces. You've also got vehicles showing up as well, of course. Here's another example here, Night of the Living Dead to Willard. This one is Go Get Johnny. So likely trying to save individuals, Johnny's car. Rescue Party, another one for the fire. Hopefully my hand is not blocking things too much. And then you got your skills here at the very back. And of course, if you flip it over, you've got a game round summary that will sum up all the phases if you aren't familiar. With the rule book out of the way, we have a whole bunch of components to go through. So let's take a nice up close look at each and every one of them.
Here's a look at all the miniatures that come inside the game. This is just the top section of a two-tiered box worth of miniatures. And here's a look at the bottom tier worth of miniatures. You'll notice that some of the sculpts have multiples. I'm now gonna show you each of the unique sculpts one at a time up close. And that is going to conclude the unboxing for the core experience of Night of the Living Dead. Next, we're going to check out the Kickstarter exclusives box called Dead of Night. So without further ado, let's flip this box over, take a look at what the Kickstarter exclusives have for us, and we'll check out all the components inside as well. Chief, if I were surrounded by six or eight of these things, would I stand a chance with them? Well, there's no problem if you had a gun, shoot them in the head. That's a surefire way to kill them. If you don't, get yourself a club or a torch. Beat them or burn them, they go up pretty easy. The Dead Knight expansion includes eight survivor miniatures, four Romero and four Zombicide mode survivors. Two ghoul miniatures are added in and four survivor ID cards, of course, are in this box and two new equipment cards. Here's what it looks like inside the box. Now let's go ahead and take a look at all these components up close.
And that's going to conclude the unboxing for not only the core experience, but also the Kickstarter exclusives for Night of the Living Dead from Cool Mini or Not. Hopefully this helps you make an informed decision on whether or not this game will be for you. Also stay tuned on the channel as we move into a setup video as well as a full playthrough to show you exactly what this game has for you. Thanks so much for watching and as always, keep on rolling solo.